Hello, everyone. Um, I'm, I'm Chi Chi. I'm from the marketing team of ZHC Tech. And welcome all of you to today's webinar. And thank you for taking your time. And this time, we are very honored to bring one of the most innovative automation software companies, our eco partner, Wedding Tech. Uh, ZHC Tech and Wedding Tech have a uh, accumulated accumulated uh, rich uh, practical experience in hardware and software. So through this webinar, we would like to share our experience and provide a little glimpse of the future of a smart manufacturing. So first, first of all, uh, uh, the topic of our webinar today is enabling smart manufa manufacturing by Scanda and NES. And here is our very rough and quick agenda for today. So first, we will welcome Shami, uh, who is a technical sales manager at Welling Tech. And he's in charge of the re a region of Europe and South Asia. And he will introduce their company and their uh, product software and the solution to show us how their software, such as Scanda and NES, uh, can enable smart uh, manufacturing. And then, oh, sorry. And then Alex, Alex, our FAE from ZHC Taipei office, um, he will introduce uh, ZHC company. And also he will walk you guys through our product, the one Spanders box computer, computer uh, Commander series. And another one is our, our industrial panel PC, Aladdin series. And we will also share some of our application solutions to uh, related to Scanda and NES with you. And in the, in the end, we will open QA session. So if you have any question, you can just write it down to the chat box or you can raise your hand. And then Alex and Shami will answer you later. Okay. And I don't want to occupy too much time. So let's welcome Shami uh, from Welling Tech. So Shami, can you hear me? Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Tichi. Um, let me share my screen. <clears throat> okay. Shami, we haven't seen your... Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, welcome, and thank you for joining today's uh, webinar on the topic, Enabling Smart Manufacturing by SCADA and MES Systems. Uh, so I have been informed that uh, today's participants are from different backgrounds. So I would like to present this topic. Um, so this is, the topic is a little bit technical. So I would like to present this topic in a way that uh, everyone can benefit from this webinar. So um, SCADA and MES systems, these two systems are very essential um, systems for modern factories. So whether it's a, a water treatment plant, whether it's a electrical substation, whether it's a pharmaceutical medicine manufacturing uh, plant, or whether it's some uh, military industry, or whether it's an aerospace industry, or you can think of any uh, plant, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Shami. Hello, hello, Shami. Shami, Shami yes, sorry yes. to bother you. We, we cannot see your screen. Uh, I shared my screen, I think. It's okay. Hi, Chichi. Maybe you can uh, just uh, give uh, Shami the request, accept the request. So he is, is it okay? Mm, no, not yet. Not yet. But can you see now? No. Oh. 
yes, I yeah. think. Yeah, you, you are sure host. Sorry, wait a moment. Okay. I don't know. No, no, because she because just uh, stop the share. Yes, stop share. Stop share. And okay. Yes. So I already stopped the share. So, uh, Xiaomi, can you try again? Uh, can you see now? No. no, I have shared my screen actually. Okay. I'm not sure. okay. okay. Now it's okay, right? Yes. Everyone, can you share my? Uh, can you just uh, uh, type on the Zoom? Uh, are, are you? Can you share my? Uh, I mean, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, we can see your okay. screen. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, welcome and uh, thank you for joining to today's webinar on the topic Enabling Smart Manufacturing by SCADA and EMEA System. Uh, Rita has, uh, Chichi has already introduced me. Uh, so, uh, I would like to, uh, this topic is a little bit technical. So, I would like to present this topic in a manner uh, so that everyone can benefit from this uh, webinar. And so, uh, SCADA and EMEA systems, these two systems are very essential, uh, you know, uh, systems for today's manufacturing uh, uh, era. So if you um, visit any factory or any plant, whether it's a, uh, you know, water treatment plant, whether it's a power generation plant, whether it's a you know, medicine manufacturing, whether it's a you know, uh, aerospace industry, whether it's a automotive parts manufacturing. So any uh, modern manufacturing plant, you know, in some way, SCADA and MES systems are placed in those you know, uh, factories or plant. So, um, these, uh, so the uh, smart manufacturing, actually currently we are doing smart manufacturing, but we are not 100% doing smart manufacturing. So we are, uh, you know, uh, to, we are moving to a, we are shifting uh, into a, a, an, a, an environment. We are shifting our manufacturing environment into, you know, um, uh, into, uh, into something that is more connected, more efficient, more sustainable. You know, that is what we are, uh, trying to you know, move and that basically era or that environment that we will create and we are creating is called basically smart manufacturing. So smart, the concept of smart manufacturing basically creates a smart factory. So um, as I have been informed, you know, uh, the attendees today is here are from different background. So a SCADA system basically, so you can think of a factory and inside this factory there are, you know, this kind of uh, assembly line with this kind of work cell up there. And there are a lot of machines are placed, you know, to, uh, for a particular task. So how do you automate this process? How do we monitor the parameters or how do we monitor the process variables? Basically, you know, this is done through a system called SCADA system. And this SCADA system, when it's a SCADA system, it is basically, it is not only one software, it's basically a combined, you know, uh, including hardware, including the software. So a very simple, uh, in, a, in a very simple way, the simplest form of SCADA system I can present in, in this way. So for example, you have a, a sensor and sensor will be connected to some PLC, some controllers, and then you will, in, in your plant, there will be a network infrastructure, which is basically LAN internet connectivity. And through this, basically we will install a software in a PC, which is called a SCADA software. And then we will monitor this kind of, we will develop this kind of screens so that we can monitor the, you know, the process area, the process variables, you know, uh, in this system. So this is one way to automate our uh, you know, factory lines, factory environment. And the typical SCADA system, what it does basically, it collects data. And of course, it should have some communication capability. That means without this communication, you know, we cannot be able to see the data. Of course, you need to uh, build some visualization based on the collected data and then monitor and control this, that is monitoring. But if you want to control something, let's say you have a, a pump and you want to turn it off and turn it on. So from this systems, basically, you can send commands. Okay, I want to turn this motor off, then the motor will be off. And the, when, it's, uh, when, when you want to you know, turn it on, you can turn it on. 
So this is a very typical uh, the task, you know, uh, the SCADA, the task of SCADA in, in any plant actually. Whereas MES system, for example, so it's a, you can think of as a whole plant. MES system, it, you will have a lot of, you know, so at least in one line that there may be one SCADA system is placed, okay. MES system is basically, it's a much bigger system than SCADA system. And the function of MES system is, you know, very different from the SCADA system. So what I can, I will introduce this, you know, in a, in a more detailed manner in, a, in a coming slides. So this system basically, it's a, you know, uh, it's a, it's, it unify your whole plant, but it's basically works on a line or a warp cell or no, uh, but we can build us a plant level SCADA system, not an issue. So it's a uh, plant level system. It's a software system. And most of the data basically that, you know, MES consumes basically this comes from this SCADA system. So uh, we, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the plant, basically, we, we mainly, uh, as a general rule, we uh, first implement a SCADA system and then we go for MES system. But reverse is also possible, but you know, that is the way we do it. Now, this is a very simplistic one, but if you want to build a very complex you know, the, uh, uh, SCADA system, so this will be, you know, there are a lot of areas and a lot of devices you know, connected, and then you can build an even bigger plant level SCADA system. But MES will always reside on top of this, okay? Because it consumes data from this system. Uh, and it's a uh, plant level management system, basically. So it's a very much highly complex system. So this is a you know, brief overview about what actually we are trying to explain today, the topic. So today's agenda that I have, I will just, uh, I would like to introduce a, 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 our company and then coming to moving to the second agenda, product lines, I will be talking about um, uh, the high level introduction. You know, uh, I will give a high level introduction of our product lines related to you know, how we can use it in the uh, how we can enable this, uh, use these systems and enable a smart manufacturing plant. And I will, today's uh, specific product focus will be King SCADA, which is also a SCADA system from well in tech, and how we can use this system to uh, make some monitoring and control applications, you know, how we, how we use this system in a, in, a, in a particular plant. Then I will introduce one, uh, JHC Tech, because uh, we are co-hosting this webinar, and well in tech. They are a hardware company, we are a software company, how we can uh, come together and build a solution. I will give a, uh, I will present a, a, a simple, you know, typical solution of uh, using these two companies' products. And then I will give a very high level introduction to MES system because MES system is a very highly complex system. So I will give a general overview on the MES and how uh, it is used in the plant. And then I will um, present some cases uh, that we have done as uh, uh, real cases. Uh, in, in, uh, one is in Honda, one of the Honda plants, one is in one of the Dosan plant, and another, the last reference cases that we have is a capacitor factory MES system. So this is today's agenda. So coming to um, first agenda, so we are a uh, automation software company. That means we do not have any hardware. We are, our main domain is industrial automation software. And this is a little bit overview, you know, what we have, you know, in terms of organizational, you know, uh, or or organizing detail or company details like in, so we are uh, one of the largest uh, in terms of the software company automation so especially automation software company uh, we are the largest in China and we have uh, by 2022 this uh, we have a couple of R&D centers and these are all product R&D centers and our model basically we directly uh, no uh, we don't involve uh, with end users directly so. We in uh, several countries all over the world, we look for distributors, we look for system integrators, we look for OEM partners, and through them we do our business. So this is a typical manufacturer and distributor, this kind of model that we have that our business, you know, the, through them, we uh, uh, basically uh, reach out to customers. So that's the business model. And uh, since 2018 in Chinese market, we have, uh, we have been very quite competitive since 2018. We have, we basically, uh, we have the largest market share in terms of SCADA and HMI market in China. And uh, since to, until 2021, we stood first in the, uh, you know, uh, even ahead of Siemens in terms of SCADA and HMI market. And these details are, you know, you can find in this ARC advisory group, you know, they're a research company. Now, uh, coming to second agenda, uh, here, as you can see, you know, there are four scope of product. Uh, so we can place our product into these four scopes and 
Uh, so I will give a very high level introduction here. So when you say monitoring and control, we are talking about SCADA system. Okay? And this King View and King SCADA, these are both SCADA platform. These are Windows based SCADA platform. So the question is why there are two SCADA system, one company is sailing because you know, uh, this is this answer can be this question can be answered. You know, in a uh, so there are uh, different market segment. There are low end market segment. There are high end market. Segment. Some, so for example, a country like India, country like you know some South Asian countries, they customer look for everything but with a lower price. So where basically you cannot sell very high end systems. So that is why basically it is, you know, both are SCADA systems. But there are technical differences. One is specially targeted at small SI companies, small projects, and medium-sized project. Another is basically high-end systems. That means for high-end uh, customers and for high-end applications. King Portal is also a similar system, but it is web-based system that it resides on the browser. Okay, it's a web-based SCADA system. But uh, these two, so these are basically SCADA systems. Okay. King Fusion, if you are uh, familiar with SAP, okay, so King Fusion is basically, SAP has a system called SAP MII. So King Fusion is a MES system, okay? So basically first we implement this and then we use our platform to build an MES systems, plant level systems, okay? Uh, this is basically a database. Uh, I don't know uh, how many of you have used like MySQL or SQL Server. I think mo most uh, people here uh, used already this kind of SQL databases, okay? But this system is really different. This is not equal to system, uh, this uh, SQL databases. It's a time series database, okay? And this is useful when you are uh, inserting data at a very high speed. Let's say you have 10,000 process variables to be, to be stored at per second at, you know, for 365 days. So 10,000 process variables, that means 10,000 records and you are ingesting at one second. And those kind of ingestion uh, speed Usually, uh, SQL uh, database that is available in the market for Microsoft or open source, it cannot handle those data. So this is a very special. Uh, no, so the technology behind this is a different. So it's an industrial storage for very big amount of to handle uh, big data, very large amount of data. Okay, data connectivity basically it has uh, it connects with a lot of you know uh, PLCs, a lot of controllers you know on the shop floor that we have seen here above. You know, so it basically collects real time data. And it's not a SCADA system, it's a, a data acquisition software actually. So this is, as you can, uh, here you can uh, find one comment. The question is basically, are these products are related? So these products are all independently developed by our R&D and this uh, independent product that you have a PC, you can install all of the systems and use in one PC. So that will, there will be no interference. So it's a, these are independent products, okay? Now, uh, as I mentioned that uh, factory, so any factory basically, any plant, modern plant basically can be modeled in this way basically, and this is called 2D model, okay? So this, uh, so first basically on the shop floor, you have a lot of machines and these machines can come from this kind of vendors, okay? Siemens, Omeron, and they have. So, and then basically uh, these machines have a particular task, but if you want to monitor these machines, you need a high level system that is a second level system which is basically a line level system called SCADA, HMI, or PCA systems, okay? These are three different systems, but, so what it does basically, it collects, um, uh, you know, data from these machines by connecting, okay? These are software, piece of software, but these are hardware. And then basically on top of this, it sits basically a high level plant level system, which is called MES. And then you have your ERP system where you make decisions, where you uh, create orders, process invoice, and then basically, so you make decisions here and it is translated into machine level actually. That is, the, that is what we are modern plant is doing basically in any modern plant, this is the architecture. So if you look at this context of this you know, model, we have products basically from top, some shop floor, these are software, okay? So using our product, we can integrate from the top, so from the bottom until top, okay? Because we are not an ERP company, so yes, so. Even now coming, uh, you are familiar with IoT, this and with the coming of MPTT and this kind of open source OPC web technology, uh, we can build, you know, IoT solution. That means you can, you do not have to go in this linear model, go to, from top, bottom to top. So you can collect data and you can directly send to some cloud platforms if you have, you know, some cloud platforms and you can build your own dashboard analytics over the cloud platform. So this is also possible, which is which is sometimes called edge to cloud architecture. Okay, and 
Uh, so today's focus actually, you know, out of this all these products, today's focus will be on King's data. Okay, so this is our system, which uh, how so we can see how we can use this system. And uh, so before I move to King's data, um, I would like to give one knowledge point that so this is our manufacturing stack in the current you know environment, current in modern manufacturing plant. But where we are going actually, we are going to something new, which is basically this is the future of smart factories. Okay. So this is something, uh, the future of smart factories, basically, uh, there is something we call it CBS, cyber physical systems. And these are systems that are very tightly integrated with the physical systems. And what we are doing, so this is our current model and we are shifting to a very connected and efficient model. So basically we are, our goal is to create sustainable factories. And that is you know, the emphasis of today's, that is the emphasis I think all, even the government and everyone you know, that is um, where basically we are uh, diverting our focus because we need to make our assets and factories sustainable so that future generations can, can benefit from this. So we are moving to something, you know, uh, so this is a new technology, it's a research field actually. If you are interested in this, you can, uh, you can you know, study on this topic. So uh, of course, these are in you know, a software product at this level, these are all software, but at very edge level, what we are trying to do. So you can think of a sensor. So purpose of sensor is basically what? Sensing some sensing. But what we are trying to do basically, we are trying to integrate these three Cs, okay? Computation, control, and communication into physical object that is a physical sensor, okay? Why are you doing this? Because, um, you know, so that sensor can, you know, determine its own state, uh, own state at, uh, when there is a problem. Or it can diagnose. You can diagnose itself, and you know we can build this kind of very connected systems. You know, but uh, we are doing it, but not quite one hundred percent. So it's a, it's kind of a paradigm shift. Okay, so future of smart factory will be CPS based, and this is a research topic. So it means basically we are you know uh, it's a the creating a CPS based smart factories uh, is the approach is very synergistic and. To, uh, to, to, uh, uh, to create, to have a very holistic view of our, you know, overall plant, you know, or, you know, over a multiple plant. So this is a research topic, but you can, you can uh, just, I want to point this out. So this is where we are moving actually in the future. And that will be a new era of manufacturing. Now, uh, coming back to our main core topic, the agenda is King SCADA. That is one of our SCADA system. And King SCADA, as I mentioned, this is a, a high level system, okay. And uh, and it has a lot of R and D history. It has it's been around 22 years plus. You know, uh, it's a 22 years uh, old product. And uh, the where basically this system is used. So this will look like when you install in your PC. Uh, um, so it is used to build you know monitoring centers. Uh, of course, you can also build you know dispatch centers. You, know, you can also build like uh, you know, distributed type of uh, you know you have multiple plant. You can deploy a King Scada in a multiple plant. So basically, in, 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 a, in a very simple words, this system, this software is used to monitor your factories. If you can, uh, this, you can think of any factories everywhere King Scada can be used to build a Scada system to automate your factories. And currently, we have uh, about uh, around uh, 78,000 plus uh, you know, running sites or you know, plants that is powered by King Scada. And it can, it can, so this system has been used in all of these industries. Okay, so this is the main purpose. Now, uh, for a given factory, you can pick any of this factory uh, to do, you know, to uh, create a smart solution, to create a, a SCADA system. There are three challenges, main challenges, if you want to automate your factory. And the first challenge is basically data connectivity. And the second is data processing and visualization data integration and plant level execution. So any factories can be modeled in this way and King's data sit at this layer. So it is used at this layer, okay? Because it's not a hardware, it's a software, okay? So it sits at this layer and it communicates with these machines to collect data, to process, visualize and you know, uh, visualize the data. And then it basically, this data can be sent to upper systems for plant level management to be consumed by any system. So, King's Keda has this DAQ. DAQ means data acquisition. So if you ca cannot collect data, if you do not have the data acquisition, uh, data connectivity capability in this piece of software, that means you cannot solve the problem. So King's Keda has solved this problem through, so if you want to uh, collect data, that means you have, you have, you need to uh, connect your devices. 
if you want to process, visualize, and build some applications you know, using those data, of course, you need to collect and store this data. And that is very important. And this kind of database can be used uh, uh, to store the collected data. Okay. And forward the data, as I mentioned, you know, there are you can King's Kada can forward the essential data to MES systems or in your own third party or any particular third party systems through these interfaces. So it's a Windows based system. That means if you have a PC with Windows, you can install it and you can check. So if you look at this, you know, in the vertical manner, so that is basically a lot of vendors are there, PLCs, you know, CNC machines, robots. So King's Kada can connect to these machines through these drivers and collect data. You can build this kind of dashboard using this data and you can forward this data to upper systems. So this is basically what King SCADA does. And that is the core function of any SCADA system in the factory in order to automate your factory. Uh, so if you can do this thing, you can build this kind of, so you can, it will sit at this layer. You have a lot of machines here on a factory. You can install on a PC. This, uh, this King SCADA can be installed on a PC and you can collect your, you can connect to your devices and you can build this kind of dashboard on a local PC and it will be stored in some database also as a backup. And if you want to view these screens, if you want to access the system over, so let's say you are in Beijing or maybe you are located in, let's say, Mumbai or you are located in, you know, and you want to uh, view this system in a different city. So you can access through browsers, you know, so you can also, you can, access. so that is basically the convenience of SCADA system. That is what we are uh, basically doing and we have been doing. Even you can build more complex manner. So for example, you have multiple systems, multiple factories, and I want to get uh, data from multiple factories. So this can also be, this is also possible. Okay? In a, uh, it's a very connected network of uh, plant. And then we build a SCADA system. A plant level multi, this is called multi-plant or multi-site monitoring. And so what we have inside King SCADA, what are the functions that we that have, that, that we have that basically that, that uh, you know, uh, that uh, enables this kind of you know deployment or enable this kind of uh, I mean systems. So uh, looking at this, you know, as you can see, these are core. If you are from a SCADA background, then uh, if you have used any SCADA systems, you will, you will know you will know what I'm talking about. So King SCADA, you can you know, of course, it is used to develop this kind of uh, project, but it has uh, something called um, uh, multi-project development. Okay. That means you can at the same time you can open this uh, open multiple projects and you can uh, work over multiple projects. It has rich animation and graphics. You can build this kind of graphical screens, uh, visualization screen. It has alarm and event, which is a very important you know uh, part of SCADA system. Historical logging. That means if uh, if you are storing into a database, uh, so if you are storing data into a database, you can view this data into this kind of reporting trending uh, in this in this format. You have a built-in report designer. Trend designer, e charts, these are open source charts. Okay. GIS, uh, 3D. You can in, in, inside King SCADA, you can also you know, have this kind of 3D capability, OPC, UADA, and US servers. Data acquisition, which is the very core function of any SCADA system. Uh, network architecture, it means it can be deployed in a very multi client server architecture, in multiple plant in a very distributed manner. Web client, that means it is, uh, you know, the uh, uh, that means you can view your projects over a browser. Okay, it has mobile client. It can also see your uh, screens on a browser. MQTT that is a very important protocol for IoT solutions. Web services, HTTP server. This this you know open source open open interfaces to forward data to some higher systems. GPRS. Uh, it's a telemetry actually. It's a quite old technology, as you know it. Uh, if you are a hardware guy here, so uh, SMS and emailing, it is also possible. Model-based development. It means that, for example, you have 200 models to create in a, um, you know, a, a 200 pump models to create. So traditionally, you will do, you will, you will create 200 times. But in King's Kata, some we call something. There is something called model-based engineering. That means you create one model. And you associate, let's say, uh, your run status, stop status into one model, and then you instantiate or copy and pasting all this, and then you can. So it reduces a great amount of development time, basically. And this is something called efficient engineering or model-based development. Okay, recipe management, total redundancy is there. 
video streaming, that means if you are in a building, if you are in a supermarket, you can connect your video uh, IP cameras and you can monitor live, uh, monitor, you know, uh, monitor your videos uh, on a live screen making SCADA. Open interfaces, you know, these are some of the ITs. Uh, uh, so database open interfaces are there. So uh, here, okay. Uh, now this is one of the um, solution that uh, JHC Tech and we have together is um, so here basically you know J of course JHC Tech is a hardware company and Alex will introduce soon some of their products so we can use you know their KMD series product and here basically we can use our King's data it can collect data from a lot of devices through these interfaces you know and then basically even they have also panel PCs and this kind of Kanban dashboard so this King's data can in installed in this kind of system and you can build a quite you know fancy solutions here like this okay so this is a typical solution that i've introduced i think it's a very clear architecture so uh, this is the solutions that we want to present today okay so this about this cmds series uh, uh, they will introduce soon uh, alex will introduce uh, now um you know as i mentioned that um SCADA and MEA system. So SCADA basically, essentially what it does, as I mentioned, that it's monitor and control processes, okay? It is the task of this basically is monitoring and controlling. That means, let's say you have a temperature and pressure sensor. So you want, you want to pressure, you want to monitor this pressure and sensor values, but at the same time, let's say you have a motor or you have some other, you know, digital um, um, devices, you can want to control. So you can, you, you can, you can uh, control it from, um, we can control it from the, I'm very sorry, one second. So you can control it from the SCADA system, okay? So this is the, whereas MES basically, it's execute manufacturing. What it means is basically, it's a because um, it's a plant level system. And as you can see here, this is uh, SCADA, this is MES, and this is ERP system. So what we do basically, of course, through communication, we integrate our factory from top to bottom, because without knowing the status of these machines, no one can make decisions here. Your business people will not be able to make decisions. So first, basically, we need to collect data and integrate data, integrate the factories. And then basically, the people who are in planning, creating orders and how to, how much to create, how many produce, parts to produce, they will decide at this ERP level. Okay. And then they will send this order to MES. And MES will execute, you know, this uh, uh, orders and it will translate these orders basically. So, uh, of course, this is machine, we are getting data and based on the MES data, this planning of people who are involved in the uh, you know, resource planning, they will create orders from the ERP and this will be translated as a work order or production order, okay? It will come to MES and MES will, what it will do, it will translate that uh, uh, order basically into machine level so that you know they will precisely define how much resource to use and MES will give you output, okay? So MES will basically translate or convert your work order that is coming from ERP into some machines, machine level process so that machine can work on this. So MES essentially is a very highly complex system, you know, uh, and it's a system that unify your whole plant basically, and it's a plant level system. And it usually sits between this ERP and MES system, okay? Between this SCADA system, it sits here. And uh, it is ERP, of course, it, it is used to make decisions, um, but to execute the decision. So MES ERP basically is used for making decisions and MES basically is used for executing this decision at a production level. So that is the task of MES. And we have one uh, very uh, high end MES, which is called King Fusion. I will present one capacitor MES factory reference here, okay? So any SCADA system here, will have some functions like this, okay, such as data acquisition, reporting, trends, data logging, alarm and event, and some other monitoring function. But where MES will have very plant level, you know, very uh, big functions like quality management, material management, device management, downtime management. So this kind of, so this is a very high level introduction, how SCADA and MES basically works in the current manufacturing factories. You can take any modern factory, so this is how basically it works because it's just a 30 minutes webinar. So that is what I can present actually. So, you know, this is the difference. So it monitors and control and plus it's execute manufacturing. And now I will give a very high level framework basically, how we basically build MES. 
So this is your physical layer, okay? And then you have MES uh, SCADA layer. And SCADA collects this kind of process data, personal data, device data. And this uh, MES system is largely used basically, you know, the data that is collected by here. So MES system, as you can see, it has this kind of modular functions and under each module, there are a lot of functions, okay? And, and on that, basically on top of that ERP layer is ERP system is there. As you know, ERP system has a lot of organizational silos. That means you have department portals, you have you know, industry portals, so like this. So this is where people make decisions. This is where they execute decisions. And basically it translates that decision into a factory or machine level process. So this is a very overall framework that is basically the current industry or current manufacturing plant that is following, okay? But we are moving into a new era in the future uh, to a more connected and sustainable, you know, uh, we are trying to create more sustainable and more connected factories. Now, I, what I will do, I will present some cases uh, relating to SCADA and MES. Two cases are relating to uh, related to SCADA system and one MES system. So using uh, King SCADA, okay, and King Fusion. This is one of the case that is uh, we have done in uh, Honda. Honda, as you know, is a Japanese multinational conglomerate, and it's a, a manufacturer of automotives and automotive part manufacturer also. They create cars and bikes, and et cetera, et cetera. So what was the problem there? The problem was basically they needed a, 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 a single platform where they can connect their all CNC machines, PLC machines, and a lot of other devices and integrate into a single platform and build a, a SCADA system, okay? And uh, there are a lot of SCADA in the market, but everybody is not capable to do everything uh, because uh, nowadays everybody creating just a small SCADA system, a small company, but the front is okay, looks is okay, but behind the scene, it has a lot of problems, okay? So uh, we are a domain expert, so that is why we have been, uh, this problem was solved using King SCADA. And what was there basically, we have used this uh, Windows server we have connected a lot of machines like you know Mitsubishi, CNC from Fanuc, brother and Mitsubishi also. Iolink is a Tark is a German company. Okay. And these are the protocols that is that was used in the King's Keda to connect these devices. Uh, these are tags, that means variables we are monitoring. Screens, that means a dashboard. In the dashboard, there are more than 170 screens close you know, And these were the database used. So this is system specifications in the SCADA that uh, in the, the system that we implemented in Honda. And there's a typical architecture. So we have a lot of machines here in SCADA connected these machines to the network, okay? And these are some real screens. So this is a real plant. There are this kind of functions where, you know, parameter monitoring, emailing, email triggering, automated email triggering, okay? So you can select the line and you can see this. So this is the main dashboard, okay? Uh, you can log in and then you can, um, navigate over 170 screens. So these are typical screens that is coming, that is a real screen that coming that came from you know Honda uh, systems. Now another system is basically that is also done in using King SCADA. It's a SCADA system. It's one, it was in Dosan factory. And Dosan, Dosan, as you know, it's a steel manufacturing you know, company. So what it what we did basically, uh, so here is a vertical touch screen monitor. Okay. And we have installed our King SCADA and built this kind of you know, real-time monitoring of AGB code. What is AGB? AGB is basically automated guided vehicles. These are uh, used in the factory, okay? Uh, and uh, so this, uh, this you know, information weekly production display can be viewed. And another basically where uh, we created a dispatching system, automated dispatching system using, so you say an AGB, so where we have built a scheduling system using King's data. And it can uh, send basically you know, we can give some job commands to the AGB and it will do the job that, you know, it will do the job and that those commands also can be uh, saved as an Excel file. So this is another typical uh, smart solutions that have been implemented using King SCADA, okay? Uh, there's a SCADA system. And as I mentioned, and this was the architecture uh, according to which this was built, okay? So uh, the AGBs were from the Blue Robotics Company and here the two systems, the monitoring center and scheduling system, okay? According to which the system was built, uh, this are according to the architecture. Now, uh, this two SCADA system and uh, King Fusion basically, as I mentioned, it's a very high-end MES system. And this MES system was a built for capacitor factory. And this is a Chinese client, so the picture will be Chinese. So, uh, so this is in a typical 
a solid capacitor manufacturing process okay and those who want to implement the my MES system, they have to be very familiar with this process. Otherwise, because this process goes through inside MES uh, system, okay? Uh, so we have MES expertise, we have, because we are an MES header company. And as I mentioned, MES functions are very high level functions, okay? So this is built using Kingfusion. Uh, our, so this is a production management, you know, and under production management, as you can see, there are a lot of functions, you know? So this is a production management. Uh, uh, was a function that is built, uh, that is an MES system, is just one of the part of MES system, function of MES system. Then we have quality management, and as you know, in the quality management, CPK analysis basically very important. So this is also an MES function. Uh, warehouse management, where basically you, you know, how, how you decide how much inventory you are using, how much, in, I'm talking about inventory tracking, how much inbound materials, how much outbound materials. So these systems, you know, MES function, these are very high level systems, okay? Uh, that was built using King Fusion. There's also equipment management here like this, okay? Uh, so under one modular function, there are a lot of internal modules up there, okay? So, uh, because, you know, this uh, this is a very high level, high techni highly technical topic, you know, but this is uh, this is how basically, you know, MES and King's, uh, these uh, systems are used. Um, so uh, any factory can be viewed in this form, in this model. And, uh, and this is the integration basically. From machine to top, machine from the layer zero until layer four or five. Okay, uh, we integrate. We need to integrate so that we can make decisions over the real time data. Okay, so this is what have, we are doing in the current manufacturing plant, and but we will be moving to a more smarter and connected and efficient era where we will build more smart, uh, sustainable smart factories. Okay, but it will take some time. But uh, yeah, so uh, this is you know what I wanted to present in this web and I think my time is up and if you have any questions now I will give at least two minutes uh, you can just uh, directly uh, ask me I will answer and then I will transfer this transfer Alex for introducing uh, JHC tech uh, products okay thank you so much yeah <clears throat> and uh, even uh, you can also uh, post it in the zoom chat So there's a question from uh, Mr. Chang, how the MES interface to ERP? So okay, um, let me just verbally explain this. So MES and ERP, basically how we interface, there are uh, three, um, let me go back to this slide, okay, here. Here, so, uh, this is SCADA system, okay? And this basically forwarding means, so you can build, uh, you can uh, interface MES and SCADA system using any of these three, four options. These are standard, standard interface, MPTT, it's a standard. You can also use this interface, okay? You can also use, this is basically needs, you need programming expertise, either Java or something like that. So you, you will use this kind of SOAP and HTTP. So SOAP is used when there is a heavy data that is MES collecting from in SCADA, but lightweight uh, for if the amount of data is small, you can use HTTPs, okay? So these are also, King SCADA has its own API. You can either use this one, this one, or this one. So this is how we, you know, uh, interface MES and SCADA systems. And also the third way is basically, as you know, this is a database, okay? So I can place one database here like this, okay? And I can, if I do not want to use any of this, I can just, MES can collect the data from the database and this will be pushing the data into. So it is basically almost real time, okay? So this is another way. There are four or five options are there. So there are a lot of ways to interface, you know, uh, for interfacing with two, with, uh, I mean, two systems, yeah. <clears throat> okay, and uh, if any other uh, questions, you know, uh, feel free to post it in the Zoom chat and I will try to answer at the end of the session. And now I will uh, transfer uh, to Alex and uh, thank you, thank you for your attention, yeah. And that's all, yeah. <clears throat> now please, uh, uh, Chichi, you can, yeah, give, uh, you can transfer to Alex, please. Okay, hi, Chichi. Uh, could you please share the screen? Okay, cool. Can you hear, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I can, I can. 
I can look at your screen. So uh, just uh, the next part, this is Alex from the uh, Geochain Tech uh, Taiwan branch. So I uh, just let me uh, introduce uh, our uh, Geochain Tech because we have a different audience in this section. So we have uh, three parts. The first one is introduction to introduce our Geochain Tech and our product. So uh, the second one, we just uh, introduce our products uh, to let everyone know our roadmap and the uh, product line. The third one is the, about the uh, solutions on the uh, smart factory solution. Okay. Okay, just like me. Uh... Okay, so the, the first section we just want to say, uh, oh, who is Jiechen and where is the from Jiechen from? So we just uh, found the in Shenzhen in uh, two thousand two, and we just uh, uh, start to uh, IND and to launch the first uh, low power motherboard and establish different branch in all over the world. And now we just uh, step by step and uh, to launch different uh, uh, industry. A computer from the user's requirement. And then we just uh, focus on different uh, marketing and uh, the pass the uh, ISO, uh, this kind of the quality certified CAD. Okay, more, moreover, we just have, uh, just uh, go for war and uh, step by step. So finally, we just uh, provide the uh, Intel x86 platform and the AI module and AI product. So our CEO, Andy, just uh, want to uh, mention and provide the best solution to an uh, end product or an uh, end customer, and uh, we just uh, provide the IoT computer connect to the DAS. Yeah, okay. So as you can see, we have the five region in the uh, Greater China region, and we have professional sales things such as Rita, uh, Lin, and uh, Unis. This kind of excellent sales. And uh, we have excellent engineer team uh, and the uh, agent team. And uh, we just, uh, sales can achieve increased. Uh, we just uh, uh, step by step and uh, get more and more the user. Okay, so now we just uh, uh, have the Shenzhen branch and the Suzhou, Taiwan, Taiwan uh, Taipei branch. We have a different uh, region. And for uh, all over the world, so we have a global marketing and a lot of the uh, agents. So we have uh, overseas agencies. Uh, the number is about uh, 50 plus. And uh, so you can see we have a lot of, we just uh, sell all the product to the uh, all over the world. Yeah. Okay, so this is a, a simple diagram to the demonstration of JSON products. So we just uh, from the CPU platform, no matter Intel or uh, the China Core, and uh, just uh, to the AI chip manufacturing, uh, such as the, uh, sorry, go back to there. Okay, such as the Compricon and the Shan, uh, Shelf Go and the Rocket Chip, NVIDIA, let's say, or Eco Partner. And for the software and the middleware algorithm, we just integrate that. And then we just propose our uh, geotherm product line in the, I, uh, in the A product lines. Okay, so as you can see, we have this one, we just provide a standard product uh, for the A series and uh, nearly 500 products on sale. So we, we just uh, separate our product uh, depends on different uh, marketing and we just uh, provide an A series. Okay, so first one is Aladdin, just like uh, the Fendi's panel PC and the monitor for, for uh, this kind of uh, uh, maybe medical or some uh, machine uh, usage. Okay, in the Commander Fendi's uh, box PC, a uh, third one is the Bravo series, which, just, which is a focus on the uh, AI edge computing system. And uh, such as the Sigma series, they just the folks have families in vehicle large PC uh, for the target uh, for the uh, spatial vertical marketing application. Okay, and another one is the WPPC is a large waterproof uh, panel PC, which is a uh, focus on just like the cold chain or maybe the food factory. Uh, they want to have a uh, higher uh, durable uh, on the uh, waterproof. Okay, and the like uh, KGEC is an edge controller, which just uh, provide uh, a motion control solution. Moreover, we have a product uh, Paladin series. It's an embedded bus PC, maybe in the HGV or the MEV different application. Uh, final one is the SBC, the single bow. So we just profile the old style and customize the motherboard product. So just uh, the end user can just customize this model uh, and the CPU and the IO to uh, generate and fulfill their uh, project's requirement. Okay. So we just uh, 
uh, focus on the, this kind of the application, such as intelligent transportation system, V2X, industrial automation, uh, smart security, this kind, smart factory, uh, different uh, uh, vertical marketing and uh, vertical application. Okay, so uh, fulfill, we just have a, a different uh, partner to fulfill this uh, a reach of the requirements, such as the Intel, NVIDIA, Huawei, uh, DTE. We have a lot of the eco partner in China. Okay. And so, so we just go to the next section, next section because we just introduced our adjacent technology company. Okay, so we just want to uh, highlight our Aladdin and Commander series, which is a focus on the smart factory and a uh, perfect integrated with our Scanda system, just like our eco partner within tech. Okay, so the first one is an industry panel PC. We just provide a 10 inch to the 21 inch uh, panel PC. We just call it Aladdin. Okay, so we have the, this raw map, as you can see, we have a K series and A series. What's the difference? Because the K series is focused on the performance. We provide i3, i5, i7, and the Celeron CPU selection. But for the A series, we just provide a more, for, for the A turn and the Celeron, this is a low end, but the economic uh, and economic uh, product. So we just provide this kind of uh, product line with uh, different uh, size. And uh, we have a uh, uh, high planning for the new uh, Tiger Lake platform, which is upgrade our CPU. So just to take a look, okay. So you can see we just put a highlight uh, Aladdin series, such as uh, uh, the multiplier interface feature, use the EIO uh, composite interface to develop by our JSON tag. That means that we can profile different extension functions, such as PCI and the PCIe uh, on the panel PC. Okay, so you can see that uh, we are all K series panel. We provide different inch and the profile PCI and the PCI slot, as you can see uh, in the below diagram. Also, we just uh, use the industry standards as a uh, long life LCD screen, LED backlight, and the industry grade 50 uh, catch, and uh, uh, with the temperature operation and suitable for different industry environment. Yeah. Um, over, we have profile a, a flexible mounting maser because of for the, uh, in the smart factory, we have a different uh, uh, size situation. So we can profile a flexible a mounting such as a panel fan, panel mounting, VESA or rack mounting. So we just profile IP65 rating, uh, fan list here, the disparation design, or aluminum die cast and uh, with a uh, flexible hidden a uh, panel mounting bucket. So this kind of very uh, general future, but we just provide to our smart factory. Okay, so uh, we just want to use these two diagram to demonstration or capability on the Aladdin, on Aladdin series. So you can see the resistant touch chip of the K series. Our product just directly laid on the motherboard with a high stability and the capacity touch uh, screen just use the uh, uh, industry grade touch chip and provide a customized firmware for different uh, rough environment. So also you can see the right diagram. We we just demonstration we can just touch this panel uh, with the rubber growth and the easy the waterproof. And the thickness of the outer glass cover can reach uh, maybe 10 or 11 millimeter. Okay. Uh, moreover, we just provide EMC and VCC certified cattle, and we provide a with 40 HDC power supply, such uh, just from a 9 to 36 for a uh, weird power input. Okay. Moreover, you can just uh, take a look at our table for uh, this series. We have a different uh, uh, touch LCD and the web camera. We can select a different, uh, a different options, and we provide the general uh, table. Okay. Of course, we, we can see take a look at maybe the uh, K series. They provide different CPU selection and uh, different touch and uh, and the, the uh, reach of the I/O. Okay, for the uh, this series, you can see we also provide a different uh, reach I/O. Uh, sorry, a uh, reach of the uh, CPU selection and uh, just a different option. So, what's our target market? We just uh, target on like such as. A uh, kiosker, a uh, CNC machine, and HMI, a uh, warehousing logistic, medical detection service, MES. Just the folks on that uh, industry that need the uh, monitor to monitor something. So that's why they need the uh, panel PC. Okay. 
So next one, we just want to uh, introduce our Kamada series. It's a kind of the box PC and with a fancy design. Okay, so we just focus on this raw map. As you can see, you provide a different uh, uh, a series, a different model, just from the uh, Intel uh, J, uh, J100, 900, upper leg, and the hard leg to the tiger leg. That means that we provide the reach of the selection on the Intel raw map. So we can select the high performance or the economic low end, a different box PC. So we've provide different IO and different CPU selection. Okay, so now uh, we just focus on our new product for the uh, coming leg for the common that is uh, three models, such as you can see, uh, just the uh, uh, 60,000 models, okay. So we, we just focus on this one. You can see, uh, just uh, take a look at the IO RAM is uh, at least halfway spec, but we just want to focus on the future on the expansion. Because in this series, you can select a different uh, uh, expansion on the PCIe. So that means that you can select a two or three or uh, four different uh, PCIe uh, selection. Um, some of the land is a PCIe, some of the land is a mini PCIe. So you can take a look at our, our model. So it just a demonstration, we provide two or four or five uh, PCIe slot and you can just uh, to fulfill your requirement. Okay. Uh, so we not just highlight the CPU, we just uh, use the, uh, the new uh, 10, 10 10 generation Intel Core for a, a desktop processor. And moreover, we can just provide universal expansion capability for uh, maybe the GPU car or the interface car, such as the networking and the motion motion and the data acquisition car or the, the other function car. You just can select your uh, requirement, uh, different flexible expansion, and then just insert to our PCIe slot and you can just uh, fulfill. Okay, so we just highlight our, uh, our chip can just support up to the 2.5 uh, giga network and different network chip. And also we just provide a uh, 4G LT or Wi-Fi wireless by file mini PCIe. Also, we just highlight or we, we provide a flexible and a diverse, diverse functional IO expansion. Just a five change the IO dot car with a different series so we can provide different IO. Let's our uh, genius design. Okay, so now we just have the common mode structure and the new ID design. That means that we just compatible like, like the pin to pin. We just change the CPU, but we provide more and more uh, selection for end user. You can uh, just choose maybe the 5,000 as the economy, economy uh, models and select the 6,000 for the high performance model. Okay, so two free phones just focus on the coffee leg and the coming leg share the same uh, head expression and the instruction profile. Okay, so we just also highlight the storage option. We have the one plus two. That means that we have a two, uh, two, uh, two, two inch, two, uh, sorry, two, uh, just to have a two SSD for the 2.5 inch. So it is swap design. And also we provide a one mini SATA. So for, for, for the full length card, so you can just extend your storage. Okay, so we'll just uh, provide some of the ordering info just to let everyone to take a look. Uh, what is the camera series and what is your highlight models? Okay, so for the next one, we provide more and more uh, adapter selection and the uh, 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 rough IO. Okay, so this is the next one, which is a profile of five slots, just depend on your requirement. Okay, so what's the common uh, target marketing? We just target a uh, fine marketing such as highway uh, for the ETC, MTC, gateway fee flow, and the machine fusion, logistic feature sorting, uh, and the uh, medical imaging such as X-ray machine or monitor and the uh, industry manufacturing, which are folks such as uh, uh, industry robot on laser uh, cutting machine and uh, the CNC machine. So moreover, we just uh, such as a 3D printer or a DCS control system. And for the V2X, we just uh, focus on the raw side MEC and the HD map, uh, HD map mapping. 
Okay, so this is schedule. So uh, just to finish the sec second part, and we just want to go to the third part for our smart manufacturing solutions. Okay, so just from the second part, we understand the Aladdin and the, uh, the, the rule in the Aladdin and the, the, the panel PC and the Commander series, the uh, box PC. So we just focus on the uh, application. So sorry, I want to go back to disconnection. Or do I know? Or do I know? Okay, Rita done. Oh, so Rita done. Boys. Okay. Okay, so I just uh, continue my speaking. So Rita, go ahead. Okay. Okay, so our sales, our sales just lost the connection. But anyway, we just continue this uh, uh, webinar. Okay, so, okay. So for the application for the MES uh, manufacturer execution system, uh, I just uh, check the slide. Okay, smart factory. Okay, it's okay, okay. So such as the Arden series, we just can connect to the PLC to demonstration the situation. And the, like the switch auto box or uh, automatic scanner with the LED, LCD, this kind of the behavioral IO. So that means that we can integrate this kind of things uh, to our Aladdin series with to demonstration or uh, MES system. And moreover, you can see we just install in a different side, uh, maybe just in a product line or I mean some of the works, workstation. Okay, so we, we just provide this kind of uh, information to all the, uh, the worker and the operator. Okay, another one is the for the uh, automobile company in Liu Zhou, uh, introduced the mixed flow assembly line sequence problem in, into the MES system. and. Uh, Combined with the uh, gene algorithm, they want to uh, optimize their uh, uh, the execution system and for the automobile assembly to to provide more efficiency solution and then rely on the mo uh, most most uh, reliable interactive with the highway led or generation profile led. Uh, we just uh, provide such as a TPC. You can see we just connect to uh, the USB and the Bluetooth uh, to the speak, uh, find the Wi-Fi or LAN, different interface, but we just want to provide a solution to demonstrate uh, the, the work or the operator for the full, uh, the full scope. Okay, so the system configuration, you can see we just use a enterprise ERP, SCN, CIM system data center, and the, with the uh, wild, wireless uh, network, and the manufacturing execution system MES integration and uh, with the uh, uh, industry touch panel PC data collector. We just uh, want to let the uh, TPC just like the small gateway to collect the all the data and then just uh, transfer to the uh, cloud or maybe the uh, local data center, let me the MES. And then we can just uh, monitor all of the uh, part in this uh, factory. So to demonstration or along uh, the, 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 the operator, yeah. Okay, so we just show the on-site implementation. You can see we just install a TPC in a different way or maybe mounting, desk mounting or face up, different uh, situation need a different uh, installation method. Okay. Okay, so another one is for the scanner. Scanner, we just, uh, uh, this focus on the application is the super, uh, supervisory, supervisory control and the data acquisition. So you can see we just use the or commander series. We just connect with the IS232 and the IS485, uh, at least interface, serial interface to integrate a lot of the equipment, such as the pH meter, uh, COD, or flow gas, or flow sensor, or gas sensor, or digital sensor. So. And also we just uh, have the digital uh, IO, we can just uh, use a DIO to detect the uh, limited fuff. So then there's a whole different uh, interface such as serial or networking or different uh, uh, device. So we just uh, focus on, we collect our data via our platform. And then we just uh, send to the monitor center or the enterprise monitor uh, center. It's a very rough uh, architecture, but we just like the gateway, IoT gateway will connect to the dot, to the everything, okay. And then we, we just uh, provide some of the features uh, like uh, uh, we, we the DC power, power, 
uh, DC power input, fan is design, or we, we also can provide a fan design, just depends on application and the weed operate, operating temperature. We provide a TTL signal DIO and the Compo and the for the 4G LOT or Wi-Fi wireless, we just provide an antenna hole so you can extend your capability in any in any time. Okay, so now we just the demonstration or on-site implementation uh, in our Kamada series. So we can install in the rack or in the some rough environment or some uh, just the box or just the some box in the raw. Okay, so we Kamada can shoot both, uh, can shoot both, uh, can be shoot both for all of the rough environment. Okay, so I just uh, quickly to demonstration or capability. So we just uh, go to the QA part. Hi, Chichi. Okay, thank you, thank you to Alex for his uh, presentation. And now we open the QA session. Uh, is there anyone have any question? You can write down or raise your hand. Uh, but before that, we prepare one question for Alex. So Alex, um, okay, so what is the maximum number of PCLE slots the KNDA series have? Can you answer okay. this? Okay, uh, this is a good question because a lot of uh, end users just ask about that. So as you can see, we, we, we have this roadmap we can provide flexible extension on our PCIe. So actually we can provide two or four or uh, five slot selection in our commander, uh, 5,000 or the 6,000. Again, the 5,000 series just focus on the economic uh, the models and the 6,000 just focus on the high performance models. So I would just provide this kind of the selection to our end user. Okay. Okay, thanks Alex. So have any other questions? Let me check. Okay. Mm, no. Okay, I hope this webinar help you guys understand both companies a little bit better. But if you have any question after the webinar, uh, feel free to feel free to contact us. Um, yeah, so okay. And now is our uh, marketing promotion time. So uh, this um, so this is our first hosting webinar with Wedding Tech. So we would like to encourage you, uh, you guys to implement our two uh, companies' products to make it become a complete solution. So that's why ZHC and Wedding Tech, uh, we did this offer for, for you. So now let me introduce our special offer. Okay. So as you can see in this table, uh, we will give you a very, very special price. And there's a 3D brand panel PC the one, uh, uh, the, the first one is 10 inches and the price is 333 USD dollar and 15 inches, uh, uh, the price is 777 USD dollar and, and the 21, uh, 21 inches, the price is 999 USD dollar and but we have a condition. So, so uh, above config, configurations do not include hard disk and this offer is valid only for this webinar um, uh, attendee so i will give you uh, so i already put the offer re registration form in the chat box so if you are interested in this offer please fill in this form first and if you're still considering, you can copy this and submit later. Okay. And then the offer, uh, this offer, offer only, uh, only runs from September 30 to October 30. And no, no limit to the number of purchase units, but uh, offer valid while stock less. So please get in touch with HC Tech uh, sales manager for more information. And okay, so now I let uh, Shami to introduce their special offer. Shami. Uh, hi, Yishi, thank you. Uh, so uh, guys, here um, as uh, JC Tech has mentioned, the hardware company and the hardware uh, is uh, really straightforward, you know, it's a singular pricing. 
but uh, software uh, actually it's a SCADA system has a, 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 a specifications of pricing and um uh, Chichik, will you be able to share uh, uh, give me the host privilege i let me share the screen just for a second can you see my screen yeah yeah so uh, as you know this you know uh, skeda system has this kind of specifications okay for licensing yeah so this uh, king skeda i can send you this one so um this is the king skeda specification and uh, as i mentioned that uh, we uh, want hey, to when yes? you see the screen we can see it no see no see i think chi chi okay okay we try again Okay. Uh, can you share again? Okay, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I think yes. Uh, you, you should stop your sharing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you see? Yeah. 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 So as you know, the hardware pricing is a very singular type of pricing. It has you know uh, just um, but uh, SCADA system has its uh, own specifications of uh, pricing. So uh, this is actually how King's Keda pricing looks like, you know, for development purpose, uh, runtime additions and development full, if you are using uh, some web clients, okay, uh, videos, okay. So um, these are, I can send this one, uh, this is a specification. So as I mentioned uh, that, Cici, um, uh, can you uh, share that screen again, your offer screen? Yeah. So, uh, as you know, we uh, work through uh, uh, system integrators, distributors. Okay. Uh, so, uh, if you are uh, interested in uh, you know uh, collaborating with us in terms of uh, SCADA and also between these two company solutions, um, uh, so uh, there is uh, fifty percent off in the uh, SCADA pricing uh, for King SCADA. Uh, so you can uh, fill this registration form so that uh, we can you know. I'll get back to you uh, with a more deeper presentation with a more deeper discussion on uh, the topic on king SCADA topic okay uh, so it's just a uh, uh, no, just an offer but uh, for those who are interested uh, we will get back to you uh, with a separate presentation with separate training and manuals etc whatever you yeah, require so the further the further, uh, after uh, you uh, register uh, we will get back to you with more uh, you know information <clears throat> And um, for uh, you know uh, contacting, uh, you can contact this two email overseas, and also this is my personal email ID, shami at the rate well .com, Okay, and you can also add our overseas uh, Skype for uh, quicker communication. Okay, uh, yeah. So uh, that is what I wanted to uh, mention. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Chichika. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Shami. And I think we have done for today. So if you have more uh, questions, you can always reach out to us at marketing at hctech.com.cn. And don't forget to subscribe to our uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. And it was nice having you guys all here. And I hope this webinar helped. Okay, so see you in next webinar. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Bye Thank bye. you. Bye bye.